opening of the latest KwaZulu Legislative Assembly got underway like any other in recent years. There was music, drum majorettes and, of course, Zulu dancers. But inside the Assembly Hall, speakers did not mince words. Regional and Land Affairs Minister Andre Ferri, who was the guest speaker, appealed to KwaZulu to enter the election process. Then, in an uncommon development, the address of the Chief Minister was put on ice for an important announcement by the IFP's chief negotiator, Dr. Frank Mdlalos. At about half past 11 last night, I was then rung up by Mr. Jacob Zuma, who told me that he had been informed by some members from headquarters. He rang me up from Gabon and told me that he had been informed by some members uh, at headquarters in Johannesburg that there was anxiety about the meeting between uh, his, ex his, his Majesty the King and um, Dr. Mandela, which was to take place at Ulund. And his anxiety was because, one, he had been told that there might be a disturbance at that meeting, and secondly, and that there might be an attempt at assassinating Dr. Mandela at that meeting. The headquarters of ANC were proposing that there be a change of venue, and that venue should be Durban, because they felt there were going to be grave disturbances here, as there would be very many Zulus around here. Dr. Mangosutu Butelezi continued to slam attempts by the government and the ANC to cause what he called Bob-style chaos in KwaZulu. He also criticized the latest rumor of an assassination plot as blatant efforts to destabilize KwaZulu. He said he had assured the ANC that the South African police and even the ANC's own security force could assist the KwaZulu police in assuring Mr. Mandela's safety. Knowing the attitude of the ANC towards the KwaZulu police, of which I'm minister, that it, it would be risky for, I mean, not to have strength in the security because well, I, tell, I didn't expect any problem. But nevertheless, I felt that as a precaution that I should approach the Southern police to, 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 to come in large numbers so that we could strengthen our security, they could work together with our police. In a letter to the Chief Minister, which was given to the SABC, the ANC voiced their concern about Mr. Mandela's safety at a public rally at Ulundi. ANC National Chairperson Tabu Mbeki said in the letter his party had received firm reports of an attempt on the ANC president's life. Mr. Mbeki suggested an alternative venue for a meeting and asked Dr. Butelezi's assistance to arrange such a meeting in the future. The ANC says the postponement is due to a firm report that an attempt would be made on Mr. Mandela's life. The IFP and the KwaZulu government, however, say it's all an attempt to make it seem as if there isn't any free and fair political activity here in the KwaZulu area. Tomorrow's meeting will go ahead without Mr. Mandela. It's turned into a public meeting and thousands of Zulus are expected here in their traditional dress. Gary Alfonso, Ulundi, for TV1 News, Election 94.